Hello my dear shining stars welcome you all to our today's session dear children did you study in the topics that we discussed in our previous class okay are you ready for our today's session okay so let's start in our last class we discussed about living things and non living things right and we studied that all living things can grow what do living things need to grow yes all living things need food to grow we the human beings animals birds need food to grow then what about the plants yes the plants are living things so they also need food to grow and these plants are the only living things they can prepare their own food in their body my dear children did you know where do the plants prepare their own food okay so let's see plants prepare their own food in their leaves so leaves are called the kitchen of the plant why leaves are considered as the kitchen of the plant yes plants make their food in their leaves so leaves are called the kitchen of the plant for the growth plants use the prepared food in their leaves and the remaining food is stored in different parts of plant like stem root flower and fruit and we use most of these plant parts as our food okay my little ones did you understand so let's see some examples of plants in which food is stored in flower fruit leaf stem and root can you say the name of this plant this is onion we use flower of this plant as our food and this is moringa flower we use leaf fruit and flower of moringa as our food Can you say the name of this fruit? Yes, this is papaya. So in papaya plant, food is stored in fruit and we use this fruit as our food. What is this? Yes, this is pumpkin. In pumpkin, food is stored in fruit and we use the fruit of this plant as our vegetable. Can you identify this one? Yes, very good. This is amaranthus. In amaranthus, food is stored in both leaves and in stem. This plant is Cassia taro. I think this plant is not familiar to you. In this plant, food is stored in leaves. This plant is used as a medicine for skin diseases. Can you identify this plant? Yes, this is taro. In this plant, food is stored in stem. Can you identify this one? Yes, this is tapioca. In tapioca plant, food is stored in roots. The vegetables which grow underground on the root of a plant are called tubers here tapioca is a tuber can you say some other tubers yes very good potato and sweet potato are the examples for tubers okay my dear little ones did you understand about the parts of plant that we use as our food All of you should write down the given examples in your textbook with pencil. 
So now it's time for doing the activity. Activity is given in your textbook of page number 14. The pictures of some plants are given in your textbook. You have to identify each plant and write down the name from the given box. Okay, will you do? Okay, my little ones, it's time for winding up our today's class. See you in the next video. Thank you.